They called Ma Rainey the mother of the blues. Gertrude Pridgett, who came to be known as Ma Rainey, started performing as a young teen. She was born in Columbus, Georgia in 1886 and started her career after winning a talent show. She toured in tent shows throughout the South and composed some of her own material, like Lost Wandering Blues and Dream Blues. Ma Rainey did not have a, a beautiful voice, but she knew how to deliver her songs. She had gold teeth and she wore a, a necklace of gold dollar pieces. By 1923, Rainey's growing popularity earned her a contract with Paramount Records. Paramount Records was a new company that back then, and her records sold very well. She made more than 100 recordings from 1923 to 1928 and even performed with trumpet player Louis Armstrong. When she met a young Bessie Smith on the road, she hired her to work in her show. It's rumored that Ma taught Bessie about life, both on and off the stage. They were the original wild women in American music. They were bad women, and they were singing in these clubs, and they were, they were birthing rock and roll. I always thought I was so revolutionary coming out, and then you hear Ma Rainey saying, I went out last night with some of my friends. Must have been women's, because I don't like no man's. Come on, this was not popular stuff to be singing back then, or stuff that they even talked about. The popularity of the blues faded in the 1930s, and Ma returned home to Georgia, where she ran two theaters, 